Coronation Street star Tony Maudsley has made his feelings about Duchess Sophie's coronation outfit all too clear, as he took to Twitter to offer an unflattering comparison. The coronation action was still ongoing when Tony Maudsley, who plays Eileen's love interest George Shuttleworth in Corey, typed a less than complimentary tweet about Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh's look. He bluntly exclaimed, Not digging Sophie's dress. She looks like she's just got off a float. The Duchess combined a long white sweeping dress with an eye catching floral headband and a blue and red coronation cloak, but Tony was unimpressed. That said, Despite his tweet receiving thousands of views, there was an eerie silence with very few readers replying. However, one did manage a joke, adding to Tony's suggestion, or off the top of a toilet roll. Despite his brutal opinion, Sophie's look did receive plenty of admiration too. As she prepared to take part in King Charles' coronation procession, Photos have also circulated of the outfit she chose for yesterday's pre-coronation festivities, when she donned a 1,350 pounds designer dress. The pleated floral number, from the luxury brand Erdem, had been her outfit of choice as she dined at a private members club in Mayfair. Today, she looked on top form as she strode towards Westminster Abbey with her son James, now the new Earl of Wessex, and her daughter Lady Louise Windsor. Bashful-looking Louise opted for a white and blue dress as she clasped her hands together at the ceremony, while her baby blue matching hat added extra zest to her outfit. Meanwhile, they were, of course, accompanied by Prince Edward too. After the procession at the Abbey, a carriage ride will escort the foursome back to Buckingham Palace. It is unknown what Tony's thoughts are on the outfit choices of the rest of the royals, but it sounds as though he is keeping an eye on his TV screen. Ironically, despite his damning comments, he actually previously appeared in four episodes of a TV drama called The Royal, in which he played Jimmy Beatty. However, the drama is about a hospital in a rural seaside town, rather than any connections to the real-life royals. Tony continued his commentary throughout, at one point joking, Vivid Regina Camilla, imagine if her name was Wendy or something. He described the music as akin to a Disney soundtrack and added, Damn this rain. It's going to play havoc with Camilla's hair. They'll never get her crown on.